In this video, we'll do another example of a dilution calculation using the dilution formula. Starting with a 10 milliliter sample of 6 molar KOH solution, how much water needs to be added to 10 mils of 6 molar KOH to bring the concentration of KOH down to 0.2 molar? We can do this problem in two steps. In step one, we'll use the dilution formula to determine the final volume of the diluted solution, which we'll call V2. And in step two, we'll determine how much water we need to add to the original solution to bring its volume up to the final volume, V2. We'll start step one by identifying the values given in the question. The initial solution is 10 milliliters of 6 molar KOH. So the value for C1 is 6 molar and the initial volume V1 is 10 milliliters. The concentration of the final solution C2 needs to be 0.2 molar. And our unknown is the volume of the final solution V2. We need to use the dilution formula, which is C1V1 is equal to C2V2. Our unknown is V2, so we need to rearrange the equation so it will solve for V2. And we get V2 is equal to C1V1 over C2 and we can add in our given values here. The initial concentration, C1, is 6 molar. The initial volume, V1, is 10 milliliters. And the final concentration, C2, is 0.2 molar. Now we can calculate the value for the final volume, V2. We cancel out the unit molarity, so the unit we're left with is milliliters, which will be the unit for our answer. So we go 6 times 10 divided by 0.2, which gives us 300. Because we have only three significant figures, we put a decimal point after the 300, but we don't add another zero. So the final volume of our diluted solution, V2, is 300 milliliters. Now we know the value for the final volume, V2, and the original volume, V1. So we can calculate the volume of water that needs to be added. We now know that V1 is equal to 10 milliliters, and V2 is 300 milliliters. We can write the equation that the final total volume, V2, equals V1 plus the volume of water added. We rearrange this equation to solve for the volume of water added, and we get the volume of water added equals V2 minus V1, which is 300 milliliters, minus 10 milliliters, which equals 290 milliliters. The 300 has no numbers after the decimal, and the 10.0 has one number after the decimal. When subtracting, the answer is rounded to the lower number of digits after the decimal, which is none. 290 written like this has three significant figures. The best way to express 290 to three significant figures is 2.90 times 10 squared milliliters. So the final answer to this problem is 2.90 times 10 squared milliliters of water needs to be added to 10 mils of 6 molar KOH in order to bring the concentration of the final solution down to 0.2 molar.